I'm so very disappointed in you, Lusa. Look what you've made me do. Bad, bad girl, Lusa. I shall have to teach you a lesson.
An odd-looking young woman, a woman you now know better than almost anyone, is staring intently before you. Fingers curled rigidly at her sides. Greyish-black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks, then suddenly clear. She blinks. Her bright blue eyes, bluer than you've ever seen them, shine with life. Hey. Hey. It's over. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I've never felt better. Look, look. I mean, listen. She goes silent, listening. You know, I think maybe I was wrong before. That I could just, just get rid of him. I can still hear something deep down. Like an echo, really. An echo of a whisper. And if I choose to listen... She pauses, one ear cocked, and frowns. It gets louder. And if I choose not to listen... She cocks her head the other way, brow furrowed, then breaks into a huge smile. I can't really hear it at all. I guess that's a new kind of freedom. Maybe not the freedom to be alone, but the freedom to choose which company to keep. She smiles and steps forward, her heat like a warm breeze, her smell like earth and leaves, and leans in to whisper in your ear. I choose me. And I choose you. I choose us. She leans back, her face shining, eyes dancing, radiating freedom, love, joy itself. So, now that my voice is mine again, want to hear it? I love that song, you know, but I'm not even sure who wrote it. Maybe it was me. Maybe it was one of the voices. Maybe a bit of both. She smiles slyly, 
hums a little melody. Nothing you've heard before. <sighs> I guess it's time to start on some new material. Now, onward. She stops short, mid-stride. Her eyes go wide. It's... it's not... I see them all. Thousands of them. Thousands of planes. Thousands of demons. Millions of souls. Lost souls. So many trapped. So many doomed. Like I was. Like I was. She shakes her head, eyes squeezed shut. Someone needs to help them. Someone like us. Someone like me.